Hello and welcome to Not Just Disney. Planning your first holiday at Disneyland Paris can become quite stressful. Uh, and in this video we hope to give you two tips that will make uh, planning your holiday just that little bit easier. Now, there's so many questions to ask of course. How will we get there? Where will we stay? What can we do? What can we eat? Um, and there's probably many, many more besides. Now, we can't possibly cover every scenario. Um, everybody's group is different. Um, the ages, um, your abilities. Some people may need special assistance. Some may prefer a special menu. We can't possibly hope to cover that uh, in a single video. But what we will do is give you two tips that will set you off on the right track for planning your Disneyland Paris holiday. Now the first of these revolves around passports and what we would say is once you're pretty sure of the dates on which you're going to travel make sure that everybody in your party has a valid passport. Presently the UK is within the EU and uh, you will need a passport to travel to France, although travelling on a UK passport you will not need a visa. Your passport will need to be valid though for the entirety of your stay, uh, including the day on which you are due to return. So we would recommend uh, making sure that your passports are valid and will be valid. Don't leave it to the last minute to send off for that new passport or for a renewal. There's nothing worse than watching the days on the calendar be crossed off as your holiday approaches and waiting for that passport to drop onto your mat. Now the second tip we have and this is probably a little bit old-fashioned maybe but it's to pick up one of these. Yes it's a paper brochure. Um, why would we suggest that? Well there is lots of information on the internet including the Disneyland Paris website and there's no problem with looking at it at all but uh, to get your first experience I can think of nothing easier than flicking through a traditional brochure. After all you can uh, make notes, cross things out, put question marks in, whatever you like and, uh, and return to it quite simply. So uh, exactly what is in the brochure? Well we'll have a quick look through, we're not going to go into detail on every single page, um, that would become a very long video indeed, but we'll just give you the sort of highlights to see if you think that uh, looking at a brochure would be the thing to uh, help you. Now on the first page here we have a plan, now it's not to scale but it to give you an idea of the location of various facilities, the parks, Disney Village, the railway station and the uh, the sort of on-site hotels and the ones that are a little bit further away as well as details of how you'll need to travel from those hotels to the park. Can you walk? Will you need to catch a bus? How long will it take? All things to consider and again that will depend very much on your budget and the abilities and ages of people in your group. There's also a little overview, this is the Disneyland Park of some of the attractions giving ideas for little ones big thrills or family rides and that's repeated for the studio parks and there's the attractions, little ones, big thrills, family adventures, obviously only you will know if your little one can cope with a more scary ride. Uh, details of various encounters, meet Mickey, the princess pavilion, meet and greet characters in the hotels, shows, uh, details of Halloween, Christmas, and the various special seasons that they have, fireworks, uh, special weekends such as the Disney Magic Run weekend, Halloween party, uh, details of fast pass and the single rider queues which are both methods of reducing your queue time, uh, having a shopping taken back to your hotel, baby centres, and then we come to some pages that you will need to study in some depth. Now these are about the uh, hotels and where you're going to be staying. Now we start with the Disney hotels and that starts with the most expensive. Um, it's probably the most luxurious. It's right at the park entrance. It's the Disneyland Hotel. Uh, each page is very similar in format. It will give you a typical price for holiday and a key rating which is basically a star rating. Gives you a detail of facilities and possible upgrades. Then we move down the price scale, Hotel New York, Newport Bay, Sequoia Lodge, Hotel Cheyenne and the Santa Fe. So they all go down in price and the facilities uh, decrease accordingly. 
then we look at the David Crockett Ranch now this one is a Disney hotel or Disney facility but it is set away from the park so you will need a car to travel there is no bus service so you will need a car to use this hotel and to visit the uh, Disneyland parks then there's a selection of specially selected hotels partner hotels that are not Disney themed but are in the general Disney area and there is a shuttle bus uh, linking these hotels with the parks gives you details of typical prices again these may suit your needs um, there may be uh, play areas, swimming pools uh, there may also be quieter hotels perhaps with less children if that's what you're looking to, uh, to avoid and the uh, Village Nature which is a uh, Disney Centre Parks uh, collaboration with a lovely swimming pool there is a list there giving you a sort of breakdown of the facilities in each of the hotels and uh, places to stay uh, a look at the different prices that would be available from uh, the super value to the uh, high price uh, period now holidays are priced on the colour that is the first day of your holiday so you can start on a high price holiday and end up in a lower price band or starting a lower price band and finish in a higher price band but that gives you an idea of uh, the different periods some booking offers there then we start with information about eating all you can eat buffets table service dining with disney characters uh, information here on the meal plans now this enables you to pay for your meals in advance to reduce unexpected costs um, the more you pay the more options are open to you these pages give you the details now there's some extras including dining with Disney characters here uh, birthday cakes uh, the dinner show at Buffalo Bill's Wild West show information about Disney Village the Valley Village uh, Val de Europe and the Sea Life Aquarium all facilities that are very near to the parks the excursions that you can book through Disney uh, to take you into the centre of Paris although uh, they are quite doable yourself there is a direct train that uh, takes about 40 minutes to get you to the centre of Paris then we come to how you're going to get there travel to the magic on selected days there are direct Eurostar trains from St Pancras uh, in London will take you straight to Disneyland Paris that's obviously the easiest method um, just basically go through passport control get on your train and get off at Disney but you may like to use Eurotunnel take your car or a car ferry or if you're a further afield a uh, many regional airports have flights direct to the local airports um, have a little bit of information there about Disney Express where you can have your luggage taken from the direct train straight to your hotel the magical shuttle which is a bus that runs from airports to Disneyland Paris and a little bit about car rental there some information about insurance offered by Disney and some very small print with terms and conditions so that's basically a quick run through of the brochure on the back there's information on where you can get more information so you can visit the uh, Disneyland Paris uh, website um, you can ring Disney you can have a live uh, chat or a web callback um, and they can offer you more information and there is certainly is more information on the internet um, but this will give you a very good starting point as I say you can cross through things you don't like you can tick things that you like and that will help you perhaps select the uh, the package or the hotel uh, or the method of transport that suits you best so I hope you found that uh, video useful as I say we can't possibly cover everybody's uh, own personal situation but uh, we believe if you get one of these brochures um, from your local travel agent or from Disneyland Paris through their website um, it can be a very useful tool in starting to plan your holiday at Disneyland Paris so I hope you found that useful if you did we post videos uh, about Disney on quite a regular basis but we're not just Disney we're other things too as the name suggests so uh, if you'd like to see more why not subscribe and even hit the notification bell to receive information on our local uh, latest postings so all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching and uh, hopefully we'll see you back here soon at Just Not Disney. Bye for now.
it's not just not Disney, it's not just Disney, not just Disney. How many times have you done this?